Rigadi has never been Uhuru's PA, and people should debunk this theory. Rigadi was a special DO of Moi. When Uhuru went to local government, he found Rigadi there. All right? He was a civil servant attached to that ministry where Uhuru becomes the minister. So you walk in and you find the, the establishment. Rigadi just happened to be part of that. When Uhuru became president, he never moved with uh, Rigadi as his PA. You know that. He went in with people like uh, Njia Muturi. All right? So that uh, thing about uh, it is officialdom, you know, career civil servants. If you go into a ministry and you find a PS, uh, it's uh, the job uh, designation, correct? How now you relate or whatever is another matter altogether. But when you select your own personal assistant, Uru never selected Rigadi. He selected J. Muturi. Correct? J.B. Muturi, my friend, who I worked with for 10 years at the Uhuru Kenyatta Center. You know we had a UK center where I was a director. J.B. was in charge of legal and constitutional affairs and parliamentary affairs. The motions, the bills for parliament were being done by J.B. If there is somebody who has really stabbed Uhuru in the back is JB. JB lost in uh, the election of uh, 2007, okay, to Lenny Kivuti. Uhuru brought him to the UK center. I worked in the center, I read across house with JB, all right. In 2012, JB ran again in Chicago. He lost to Jagawa. All right? And Uhuru won the presidency. Okay? Remember when Uhuru lost in 202, JB Muturi was his chief whip. So these are people who have a history of coming together. Uhuru then made JB the speaker of the National Assembly. Uhuru made JB, after losing two elections, he made him the third most powerful person in the pecking order. 